A very good evening to you and welcome to steamy, sultry Malta for semi-final night in the UEFA Under-19 Euros. In this afternoon's first semi, if you haven't seen the action from that, you can catch up with it all on UEFA.com. To tonight's teams, well, with qualification already assured before their goalless draw against Norway on Monday, Spain took the chance to rest key players. A lovely evening here, 27 degrees, the temperature, it's approaching 9 o'clock now in the evening local time. The pitch has been watered and looks in fantastic condition for what we hope will be as a multinational team of officials on duty as well this evening led by referee Eagle Fried from Israel well a major miss for Italy tonight is midfielder Sharon Dour who's just signed a five-year deal with PSG he Italy well it's been a roller coaster for them so far but here we go it promises to be another classic encounter the uh, Spanish coach says his team will always remain faithful to their identity so you can expect them to play in that technical patient way that uh, a lot of Spanish club and national sides do Esposito with the header with his managerial career in 1984 lots of experience and here come his Italian charges with the first meaningful attack of the game Vignato it was earns the corner Nice little touch from Esposito. Vignato onto his left foot. Deflection just took it over. The captain who won the free kick to take the free kick. In swinger with the left boot goes for goal. Or in their squad, certainly. Oh, terrific save. Best moment of the game so far. Bruno Iribane called into action. One-handed save prevents Italy taking the lead. All caught out by the quick long throw by Coyote. Great header from Esposito. Even better tip away by the keeper. Looks like a useful addition wide on the right. Now here comes Spain. Talking wide on the right. Freshnida. Good little cutback. Here's the captain once more. Trying to work a shooting opportunity. Didn't really get hold of it. Just beginning to turn the screw a little here after a, a slow start, Spain. Again, they've got a man loose on the edge of the penalty area. At the time it was uh, Manuel Angel, Real Madrid Castilla player. Real date. Here's the opposite under number nine, Pierre Esposito, with a good ball out to the right to Coyote. Esposito's gone for the return and again he's denied by the goalkeeper. Second time in the game already. And Coyote proving a real threat and Esposito, whose uh, older brother is a striker with Inter Milan, very nearly got himself on the score sheet here. Turned again by Pasilli. Good pressure this and once again the Spanish goalkeeper Lovely, little nutmeg, oh and with the outside of his foot he wasn't afraid to have a go, been a real star of the opening few minutes. Plays for Fiorentina, he really has been feeding on scraps so far but here they go with Danny Perez, this is good for Spain, excellent piece of defending. Taking two men now to keep him under control. And that's a careless ball. And Italy may be in here. Drilled low. Did it cross the line? Well, the assistant was perfectly placed. Nicolo Pazzilli claiming yes. Spain and their goalkeeper say no. Given away by Vale. Pazzilli drove towards goal. It hit the keeper, hit the post. And just, just stayed out. Meanwhile, at the other end, out comes Mastrantonio at pace, and there's a problem here. Clattered into one of his colleagues. It's Alessandro De La Valle, who's simple stuff from Spain, down the middle. Keeper and centre-back, maybe not quite communicating with each other. 
this was the earlier opportunity it was gifted by Spain and very very nearly accepted by Italy Pazzilli denied by well millimeters I think keeper just grateful to plunge on it in the end in the second period though now kicking from right to left and already putting the Italian defense under pressure shot from distance on the volley wasn't too far away captain's attempted cross was deflected and Valle watched it well struck it perhaps no surprise that uh, Italy haven't quite yet found their rhythm after the break but here goes Pasilli deflected strike just took it away from the far post and he came as close as anyone in the first half with that effort which was knocked by the goalkeeper onto the post this time it flicks off a defender and wide if you keep knocking on the door it may just open wins it well now an opportunity Vignato shooting chance mistake by the goalkeeper opening goal for Italy Samuel Vignato the Monza man and he's now put Italy in pole position well for all those brilliant first half saves it's an error from Iribane which cost Spain here Light for the Italians on the pitch and in the stands. Top scoring qualifying. He's now got two in the tournament. And it came from a mistake though. Made the opportunity well on his left foot, but you'd expect the keeper nine times out of ten to feel that comfortably. Poor, poor mistake. And Spain and Iribane finally punished you have to say Italy deserve the lead the teams but when it matters Italy tends to come to the party now can Spain's top scorer Barbara denied full stretch from Mastrantonio first sight of goal for Spain's leading goal scorer palmed away though by the Roma keeper Ankel can't quite work the shooting opportunity they might do now Barbera brilliant absolutely sensational that's why he's now at the top of the scoring charts on his own his fourth of the tournament he's barely had a sniff tonight but when he got a sight of goal the finish was fantastic That's the kind of finishing which convinced uh, FC Bruges of Belgium to come in for him. Played his uh, youth football for Barca B. And look at this, one touch control, got it out onto his right foot and found the top corner, giving the goalkeeper Mastro Antonio no chance at all. He was groping at thin air. Barbera, brilliant. Good enough to go alone, strong enough. Sat Vignato. Outside him is the left back. Drills in his cross. Vignato couldn't make anything of it. The follow up strikes the woodwork. And again, Spain have somehow survived. Well, Italy will be beginning to think it is not their night this evening. Irabane is in pain but it would have been that much worse if the ball had been nestling in the back of his net 
Italy must be fearing the football gods are against them. Vignato challenging, the strike was scuffed into the ground. Keeper got a glove on it initially and somehow kept it out. That goal leading a charmed life, just as the one at the other end did in the first half. Silly going all the way. Lovely finish with the outside of his foot. And Niccolo Pisilli puts Italy back in front in this seesaw confrontation. And bridal delight for the Italians. But Spain are asking questions at the back once more. twice in qualifying in that 3-2 win over Germany that's his first goal of the tournament the youngest player in Italy's squad has made his mark now he was denied in the first half by the woodwork they couldn't stop him here went past three defenders and slid it beyond the goalkeeper great presence of mind in a tight penalty area a little flick with the outside of the right foot was all it took and Italy ahead again Some red shirts to aim for and one of them gets a touch and it's in the back of the net and it's the central defender Jarek Gazirovsky who has got Spain back on terms his second goal of the tournament what a contribution from your centre back Italy were just a little slow to get organised. The header dropped in the six-yard box and it was no more than a toe poke from Gazirovsky. And it's Jahed on corner count. That's unfortunate for them. Not the scoreline that matters, but this might matter now. Italy back in the box seat again. Luca Lepani. done it from a set piece sleepy Spanish defending not for the first time this evening and maybe this time it is decisive well, credit to the manager because Lepani hasn't been on the field for too long a real redemption for him remember Portugal in the group stage as Lipani scored the goal that put Italy ahead then got himself sent off and from then on the wheels really came off for Italy they were beaten 5-1 comprehensively in the end that night but here he stoops to conquer it's too close to the keeper nothing Urbane can do as it skims between his legs and into the back of the net joy unbridled for the Italians. Now, can they finally hold on to their lead? <laughs> 